Hey guys, what is up? Mpo here with another video. Let's talk about product commercials, specifically these beverage commercials which you've probably seen on the internet from the likes of Daniel Schiffer, Indie Mogul, and James Kelly. I'm gonna attempt to do the same, but with a bit of a twist, I'm going to create these in Blender. So here's the scope. We are going to create a cinematic beer commercial in 3D. I've got this idea of having the bottle in the center of the frame and then light revealing the shots. Then having the camera kind of pan up as the bottle spins around um, simultaneously. A beer pour and then finally the hero shot. Before we start, we're going to need some assets. I found these ones on CG Trader. They are free to download, so I've left links down in the description. Otherwise, the scene itself is pretty simple. As you can see, we've got the beer bottle, the glass, as well as a brick wall for the background. Without doubt, lighting is the most important part of the scene. It's pretty simple to set up though. Similar to your three-point light setup, here I chose to go with a soft overhead light. This is just an area light with a big size. Um, this just, you know, allows for some soft shadows. Now you can just duplicate that and use this as the backlight. It's kind of tricky placing this light because as you can see, there are reflections on the table and those are the ones that we just want to try and avoid. So if you can just maybe move that around and move it, I think down below like so, you'll find that most of those reflections are gone. So now you can just select that and duplicate that. Shift D to duplicate, rotate it around just so it's facing the background. And now as you can see, it creates sort of like an interest in the shots that leads your eye towards that beer. Now, once again, just Shift D to duplicate that. And we're going to use this as the key light. Specifically, I want this towards the right. Um, so I'm just going to move that around. Pretty simple, you know, just move that, rotate that. And as you can see, that's what our scene looks like. And now that that's done, we can move over to the rim lights. And I think this is pretty much everyone's favorite lights. It's just a light that sits at a 90 degree angle from the camera not exactly 90 degree but it kind of hits the product from the back and what you get is this nice light on the edges of the product and i think it looks nice also what i added also was this blue light just to add some contrast into the scene you know some color contrast if you know your color harmonies very well you know that blue and um reds or orange work very well together so if you have a look at the bottle itself right now it looks very plain the glass as well is kind of plain um but yeah the bottle just man it really bothers me right now so i think we could make that just a slight bit interesting by adding in say water puddles you know water condensation as well as just maybe changing the overall color of the glass itself so we're going to start off with the noise texture. This is just a generic noise texture. I'm going to crank up the scale to 7.2. Then I'm going to shift A and add in a color ramp node. So just put that in and just drag the black sliders as well as the white one. Just until we have some really good contrast. And we're going to use this as the roughness map for the bottle. Then change the color of the glass shader to give it somewhat of a brownish tint. And from here, I think we can move on to adding in some water condensation, which is pretty easy to do. I used the texture for this. I found this one on Polygon. Yeah, Polygon.com. I'll leave a link also down in the description if you want to download that. So just load up the texture. The texture itself is a normal map texture. So as you would do with any normal map texture, just load it up and plug it through to the glass shader. And immediately, as you can see, the beer itself looks much more refreshing, much better with the water condensation. And just for comparison, this is what it looks like without the water condensation. And then this is what it looks like with the water particles. So in this shot over here, I came across an issue 
where I had the fluid inside of the glass. As you can see right now, the fluid itself is not showing. The shaders, the textures are proper, but it isn't really showing. And I found this interesting solution to it. So if you can see right now, the edges are kind of lined up exactly onto the glass, which is why it's showing us these weird artifacts. So in order to solve that, just select everything and press Alt S and scale it up just a tiny bit and it should solve that problem. The only thing left now is the actual foam itself, the froth. I took the glass itself and just duplicated some of those edges, some of those faces and um, used that geometry to generate the foam. So in the sculpting mode, I'm just adding in some textures, you know, just some subtle detail so that the top of the foam is not flat, but it just has some slight, you know, variation to it. So just do that using one of the sculpting brushes in Blender. I think this is the clay strips. And as I paint onto the geometry, I smooth it out as well. The textures are pretty basic. This is just a principled BSDF with a bit of subsurface scattering. I'm going to shift A, add in a RGB texture node. I'm going to give this a yellow color and then plug in that to the subsurface radiates. We now have some subsurface scattering within the foam, um, which kind of really does mimic how foam works in real world. You know, light will travel into the, the foam and just kind of bounce around everywhere. So the only thing now missing is some additional texture you know some micro level texture what i have here is just a veronoid texture um and what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed that through a normal map then we're gonna take the outputs and plug it into the principal bsdf and what you should now see is some slight detail within the foam which is good so just play around with the strength of that and the scale of the Voronoi texture itself just until you find something you're happy with. To make this shot a bit more interesting to sell it off, you know, I added in some graphics. So this would be the label that goes on the front of the bottle. And also to the background, I felt like it was missing something. So I added in some lights from one of my previous tutorials. And overall, the shots and the composition looks pretty good. The textures are proper and with a bit of animation, I think this could take the scene to a whole nother level. That's the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe or hit the like button. It really does help me out. Or maybe leave a comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see in the next tutorial. Otherwise, this is it. Um, I'm signing out and I'll see you in the next video.